let's let's get on with the show now football gets our attention particularly the nigeria professional football league what a star we're having in this one uh if you count from march day one to about 10 we're asking questions like what's going on with ifia and uba can they bounce back particularly when they crash out of the calf confederation cup everyone thought it was over but surprise surprise the league came back and now they are third on the table if i uba football club uh also known as the anambra warriors they get our attention now on the program joining us live in the studio coach yao preko former Ghanaian international we call them the black stars he's here in the studio good to have you around coach thank you for having me fantastic and the chairman of the club chukuma Oba, uh, is also with us chukuma good to have you on sports tonight thank you very much and then uh, you can smile yeah third on the table it looks good uh, but coach let me begin with you at the start of the season it was shaky it's like your players were driving a car with the with the handbrake on how did you turn it around well hard work you know uh, it wasn't easy because uh, we had a, a bunch of new players and to gel wasn't easy mentality different mentalities and but gradually we believe in ourselves we knew uh, it's gonna be a very long season and we had a, 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 a big, we have big men who believe in, in our abilities. Uh, we were not, uh, we're not worried because we, we knew gradually we can pick up the pieces. All we need is the backing and they gave us the backing hmm. and uh, we thank God we turned things around. At any point were you under any form of pressure? Of course, this, this job, <laughs> this job comes with pressure, you know. <laughs> As a player, as a player, and as a coach, you know, I've, I, I, I've been feeling it. So well, the pressure that was coming, mm. it's, it's, it's part of the job. Mm. But uh, I, I, like I said earlier on, the backing was, 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 was great. And, you know, I, all I need to do is just make sure that what, what I can do is what I will do. And I was doing it very well. And mm. thank God the boys uh, started responding. Mm. And now we, we are enjoying it. I love the part of uh, making you answer of, on pressure. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you at any time, when those results were not coming, did you say, oh, it's time to quit? Nah, no, I'm not a quitter. Okay. I'm not a quitter. You know, I believe, uh, uh, I strongly believe that uh, things will change because the boys believe in themselves. And the bunch of players that we, 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 we have, they... They, they, they are international players, mm. you know, national players. They've all, we have about 90% 90, 90 of the players, uh, they've been with the, with the uh, senior national team before, and most of them played with the, with the U20, U17. Mm. So uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't scared. I, I, all I, I was doing was just make sure that, you know, I blend them very well. And then uh, they believe in what we, 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 we were teaching them. And gradually, they, pick, they started picking up the pieces, and mm. we, we, we started flying. That's right. And then you're now third on the table. Chukuma, let me get you talking. Administratively, um, has Ifia Yuba Football Club improved compared to last year? Well, um, thank you. Um, of course, yes, uh, because, um, you know, from the beginning, remember, we we're just two years old. A little over two years and uh, 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 from the onset I had to make any, every, every one of us you know know that we can do it you mustn't be in the game for 30 years or 40 years or have you, you know to do what know what is right to do it's all about professionalism and uh, we had to get them to understand that and like I always say we, we're building a house it's an institution we're trying to set up where you know at some point you start running autopilotly hmm. so um, it's it's just a normal thing. We've done it before, and I know we can do it. That's why we're working hard and uh, trying to build a structure. That's right. That's right. It's looking good. Uh, Coach, let me come back to you. <clears throat> How difficult was it for your team playing at the CAF Confederation Cup? I think we enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves. You know, uh, we should have killed the game here in Inewi. Uh, but going there and... Uh, going out of the of the calf configuration by penalties, I think it's an experience that everybody's everybody enjoyed, and we 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 knew that it's going to be very difficult, especially in in, uh, in Egypt. But uh, we went there, we stood there, we defended the the, the flag of Nigeria uh, like men. But unfortunately, when it comes to penalties, anything at all can happen, and we we went out, but we didn't disgrace ourselves at all. Mm -hmm. And good experience in the bag also. Yeah. Um, Chukuma, I loved it when you talked about um, 
this being an institution that you guys are building. Let's talk about our ways you guys are developing football at the grassroots, particularly in letting families feel the impact. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, firstly, football is all about passion. And uh, when, you're doing, when you're enjoying what you're doing, you keep doing more. Uh, um, that's a, a pet project, you know, of Dr. Ifanyu about the one football, one family thing. Oh, you know, he also doubles as the, the chairman of the Adambra FA. Mm. So that is all about passion. He's trying to, you know, get football across all the families, 50,000 balls, their boots and everything for, the, you know, young ones to not just uh, 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 do other businesses, know that football is good business. And uh, gradually it's working because uh, uh, when we came to play in Lagos, remember FC Fanyoba uh, uh, finished the uh, zonal game uh, in the under-15 tournament mm. and they all came down to Lagos. Those are some of the products of that, uh, that program. And uh, I make bold to say that those boys you're seeing there are, ba are back in India. We're still working hard under their coach. Mm. It's not just something we started today. It wasn't for the MPFL program. No, kudos to the LMC yeah. because they are doing a great job. Um, but honestly speaking, I think um, we need to appreciate what they're doing by you know, bringing up our own innovations and uh, making it worth the while. It's not just after that tournament, everybody goes back home. Mm. It's all about, you know, putting into practice and living by it. That's right. Coach Preko, are you taking a look at some of the players that <laughs> featured at the MPFL under 15 promises? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we have, I've seen a lot of good players in, and I believe, uh, um, like uh, my, my, my chairman is saying, if we keep an eye on them, definitely we're going to have good future boys in, a, in, a, in our team in future. It's MFM taking on Ifan Yuba. The last time your team came here, uh, the, your team lost it narrowly. Are you going to ensure that it doesn't repeat itself again on Sunday? Well, I don't believe um, um, last season was last season. Okay. This season is a new season, mm. and uh, we are prepared. Uh, we, we, we just come in here to defend the, the Ifan Yuba flag, and we'll make sure that we defend it very well. Mm, mm. It was really, it was really, it was really tough, and a lot of questions. Um, MFM got a, uh, got a red card, and a lot of people expected that if I would just run over them, but that didn't happen. Um, your team has been prolific. One at Ibadan, unbelievably against Shooting Stars 3-0. Won your last match against Cardo Pillars 2-0. This form is scary. Where is it coming from? We're just taking it game after game by game. You know, we, we are not running ahead of ourselves. Uh, Ibadan game, uh, we came in, we prepared uh, adequately because we know how difficult it was when they, when they, were in a, when they came to Inewe. So we really prepared for them. And thank God uh, we got the three, three maximum points and three goals as well. Uh, we know it's going to be difficult against uh, uh, MFM, but we are prepared. Okay. And,